So today we are starting with integration. Integration is the partner to differentiation, it's the uh, reverse of differentiation, sort of like uh, how times and uh, divide are the opposites of each other. So this completes calculus hand in hand with differentiation. So if you think about, if you ask to differentiate this function, if you ask to find the derivative of y, you'd work out that dy by dx is equal to 2x. So you multiply your coefficient by the power of x and you reduce that power by 1. Now what if you were asked to do that backwards? That looks like this. So you have this integral sign and you must say what you're integrating with respect to. So we're integrating with respect to x, so we use that little dx there. So that's just the notation that's used. So now we're going to try to integrate 2x. So we have to do the reverse of what happened um, for differentiation. So this will equal x squared. So what's happened there is we've raised the power by 1. It was x to the power of 1, now it's x to the power of 2. And you divide by the new power since before we had to multiply by the power. So we're doing things in reverse. Now this could actually have started as x squared plus 5 and still differentiated to 2x because when you add on a constant, once you've differentiated, that becomes 0. could also just as easily have been minus 10 or any other sort of constant. So we'll actually just refer to this as some arbitrary constant that we'll call c. So in actual fact, if we integrate that, its full um, integration would be x squared plus c. There could have been some constant there. Okay, so in general terms, if you're integrating x to the power of n, you're going to raise the power by 1, so it'll be x to the n plus 1, divide by that new power, and then finish by adding a plus c there. So you've got some arbitrary constant that could have been there and still uh, differentiated to x to the power of n. Now this is actually quite a bit easier to see by doing examples, so let's have a look at that. So we will go, we'll integrate uh, 4x cubed dx. So we raise the power by 1, so we've got 4x to the 4. We divide by the new power, and we write plus c. So simplifying that, we get x to the power of 4 plus c. And you can always check these at the end. Check that x to the 4 does in fact differentiate to make 4x cubed. OK, another one. We're um, integrating this whole thing with respect to x. So we do each term um, at a time, just like you would do if you were differentiating. So 2x to the 5, we raise the power by 1 and divide by the new power. So we get 2x to the 6 over 6. Uh, next we've got 6x to the minus 2. So you've got to be careful with your negatives here, just like when you're differentiating. So if we raise minus 2 by 1, we get minus 1 and divide by the new power. And then minus 3, well, that's got an x to the 0 with it um, to be a constant there. So if we raise that, we will get x to the power of 1. And then, of course, dividing by 1 doesn't change it, so it'll just be minus 3x. The same as when you know if you had, if you had to differentiate minus 3x, you would just get minus 3. And then, of course, finishing it off with a plus c. So simplifying that down, there we get our final answer. OK, let's see it in context. So the equation of a curve is such that dy by dx equals 1 plus 4x, and 1, 4 is on the curve. We're going to find the equation of the curve. So we know the gradient function, so we can integrate it to work out the equation of the curve. So integrating that, we get um, each term, we're raising the x bit to the power, um, the power of the x to, to raising the power of x by 1 and dividing by the new power, do each term at a time, so we get x plus 4x over 2 and then a plus c at the end. So simplifying that, we get x plus 2x squared plus c. Now we're actually given a point on the curve, so we can use that to work out what c would be. So x equals 1 and y equals 4 gives us this equation. So just substituting into that y equation we've got above, so 4 must be equal to uh, 1 plus 2 times 1 squared plus c. So if we work that through, c has to be 1. So our final answer for the equation of the curve is that y equals 2x squared plus x plus 1.